It can hurt you and it can kill you. Hello everybody, my name is Ronnie and today on Show Me How Dad we're going to learn how to replace a light switch. Anytime you're working around with electricity, you need to be careful because electricity is dangerous, it can hurt you, and it can kill you. The first thing you want to do is make sure that your power is off to the switch. Find the appropriate breaker at the breaker panel and turn it off. Once you have the faceplate off, you're going to want to test the wire and make sure that the electricity is truly off. I recommend you use a tester such as this one. You can get it at any big box hardware store for about $25. It lights up green when the wire is dead and lights up red when the wire is hot and also sounds a beep. Once you know the power is off, you can begin removing the broken switch. There's a screw at the top and at the bottom of the junction box. Loosen both screws and pull the switch out to expose the wires on the side. Pay attention to the current wiring configuration before you remove any wires. It may not be standard. I recommend you take a picture with your phone. Loosen one of the terminals to gain access to the wire underneath. You'll notice that the wire is wrapped around the terminal post. Use a pair of needle nose pliers to remove the wire from the terminal. Move to the next terminal and loosen it to remove that wire. Use your needle nose pliers to remove it. If there is multiple wires, it may take a little bit more effort to get both out. Keep any wiring groupings together and separated from the other ones so they do not get confused. Once all the wires are disconnected, you can remove the old switch. I'm using a standard single pole 15 slash 20 amp light switch. It says on the side of the box that it replaces any 15 or 20 amp single pole switch controls lights from one location. Some switches control a single light, like in this case, and some are designed to be tied together to either control multiple lights or multiple switches on a single light. In this case, we just needed a single switch for a single light. Refer to your photo or your written diagram and wire this switch the same as the previous switch was wired. Loosen the terminal screw and bend the wire around the post. Tighten the screw down for a good connection. Move to the next terminal. Loosen that screw and wrap the wire around that post. If you have multiple wires, wrap them around both and tighten the screw down. Make sure that the wires do not squeeze out from underneath the screw. Once the wiring is complete, press the wires and the switch back into the junction box. Use the screws at the top and the bottom to secure the switch in place. At this point, it's safe to turn the electricity on and test, but do not get any fingers or tools inside the junction box. Once you've verified the switch work, you can put the base plate back on. When you're reattaching the light switch to the junction box, you can move it slightly to the left or to the right to make sure that the alignment is correct for the plate. Thank you for watching Show Me How Dad today. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. And if you learned something, smash that like button so the algorithm will find me and somebody else can learn as well. I appreciate it and thank you.